guys, Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. We are starting off today with some bench press. We are going to work our way up and test where we are at because I have not bench pressed 100 kilos for a good couple of months now. You guys know how big of a deal that was when I first hit that two blue plates in the home gym. So, we're going to be testing it again today. I'm expecting two reps, maybe three. I have no idea. But either way, it's going to be fun. Drop this video a like and get started. Right, okay, so we got two. Should have, could have got three. Um, but I'll take that. At the end of the day, I'm about 15, 16 pounds lighter than when I last did this for three or four reps. Um, so the fact that I can still bash out two um, and probably should have got three, then, you know, I'll take that. That's okay. It's a little bit irritating because don't get me wrong, I feel like I should have got three. Um, but you know, two reps on 100 kilos, which you know used to be a one rep max. After I'm, I've lost almost a stone. <sighs> Can't complain, really, can you? As like an amateur lifter, if you like, that just does it because they enjoy it, they want to look good, they want to feel good, and you know, especially when you post stuff on social media, it's hard to decide what you want to do, whether it's bulking, whether it's cutting, whether you just want to maintain for a little while. And I've kind of just been floating around in the middle for a good two to three months now, at least since I've been finished from university. Since graduating, I've kind of just been going with the flow, I've just been doing whatever really been making sure that I'm enjoying my training making sure I'm training with a smile on my face because I always say at the end of the day if you're not smiling then there's no point pick a routine pick a structure that suits you and that's going to make you smile that you're going to enjoy right and that's pretty much what I've been doing just making sure that I have a smile on my face I've not been focusing on the numbers I've not even been focusing on the scales I've not intentionally been losing weight but I have been so I've kind of just been coasting for the last like two three months at least um and I think it's time I had some structure again with, with my training, with my diet, with, with, with everything. Um, I've made my decision. Okay, so... What I've decided is, I'm currently sat at around about 176, 175 pounds, kind of consistently, right? I was at like 190, so that is kind of, you know, impressive. But, I've made the decision that I want to lose three or four more pounds, just so I can see where I'm at. I, can, I know where my weaknesses are, I can like kind of realize my strengths and I accept my weaknesses and turn those weaknesses into strengths. By, by losing a little bit more body fat, I can say, right, okay, I need to work a little bit more on this. I need to, I need to make this a little bit more even. You, do you know what I mean? So losing a few more pounds as much of a ball ache as it may be is definitely going to be worth it in my opinion. Another reason being that recently an opportunity came up, right? Um, 
for a photo shoot and um, I never ended up going for it, well I did go for it but actually a good mate of mine got it but it got me thinking for when those opportunities do present themselves and that it will happen, those days will come where you know I can do photo shoots and you know I, I, I actually look good enough to do one but what I'm trying to say is it got me thinking um, would I be comfortable with that, would I look good in the photos and am I ready for it and to be honest the answer was no um, I, I'm not physically, I don't have enough size, I'm not lean enough it made me realise that what I wanted to do was lean down a bit, see what I'm working with see you know how good I can look and then from that, play to my strengths, work on my weaknesses when I go into the bulk. So that when that day comes, because it will come, I am ready for it. Because to be honest, the answer right now would be no, I'm not. I'm not ready for it, I'm just, I'm just not. So the plan is to extend that time in the deficit for a little bit longer, see how I can look when I get down to around about 172 pounds, and then go into the bulk. Update this piece of equipment. Well, this is gonna go here, but like still put your guesses in the comment section down below What is the new piece of equipment gonna be? It is kind of if you're like stuck in shipping if at the minute it is on its way It's just like taking its time and so the big reveal will be in a couple of weeks Probably by the time we set it up and got it already, but um, yeah keep putting your guesses in the comment section I, I, I love hearing your guesses. I love hearing your thoughts like because some people are on the ball some people are like miles off So do me a favor put your guesses put your comments in the comment section what a banger! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Should always be smiling when you're training, guys. Always be smiling, unless you just fail a PB. I have to say, unfortunately, due to my decision to lose a few more pounds, does mean I have to commit to going on the stepper for a little bit. Maybe going for a run every now and then. Watching what I eat a little bit. I mean, I'm not going to be too serious. I'm not really bothered how long it takes. Like, it could take four weeks, it could take six weeks. I only want to lose a pound a week at, at most. I've only got to lose three or four pounds. So, it does mean I have to commit to a little bit. Not too much, but I am going to do it today. So, there goes nothing. Look, I woke up in peace mode. It's a red kind of day, you know? Right. Ooh. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, YouTube. I hope you are doing good, and I hope you are enjoying the video so far. If you are, do me a massive favor and drop a massive like, drop a thumbs up on the video. It really helps us grow, and you know, as I always say, together we will grow. So, I have just got back from another successful day at work. I've been there for around about six weeks now, something like that. Is that right? Yeah, about six weeks. It's getting to the point now where I can kind of have a routine. If I have an early shift, then I have a day routine. If I have a late shift, then I have a routine. There's still no real structure as to when those days are gonna be, but I figured out that if I have a routine for each day, then that's kind of the best way that it works for me in terms of when I train and when I eat and everything like that. Everything just kind of falls into place if I follow that formula for each day. Even things like laying out my clothes the night before, I mean, it just it saves valuable time in the morning because when you're having to get up at 4.30 in the morning or when you're having to go you know, to bed really late at night, little things that you know save you five minutes here and there, or even two minutes, or hell, one minute, if you do a couple of things that save you a minute each, you know, that's a couple of minutes that you could skip the traffic in the morning, you know? So it's the little things that I'm kind of getting the hang of now. So I think this is graduation episode 15? 14, 15, 16? I don't know, who knows. Anyway, I, I, I just wanted to quickly say, I mean, because I haven't really talked about what the series is about for a little while, I mean, there's gonna be lots of new people over the ch on the channel over the next few weeks and stuff like that. Graduation to me is simply me sharing my experience. Me, for starters, sharing my graduation day, um, or the emotions that went along with that, which I still don't really, to be honest, I, I, I don't know whether I've completely dealt with it, I don't know whether I've, I don't know, it's, it seems like yesterday, because I watch the video at least once or twice a week and pretty much cry every time I watch it. Um, which is a good thing, because obviously the nostalgia is there, the meaning is there, but it still feels a little bit raw um, that it's all finished. I mean, I've got some friends going back to do masters, I've got some friends doing PGCEs, I've got some friends doing, like, you know, everyday jobs like myself. Um, and it's just bizarre because we're kind of in this in-between stage where some people are still in education, some people are just doing their own thing. 
um, and some people aren't doing anything. So it's, I don't really know how to explain it. It's, um, it's weird, it's interesting, it's exciting, it's scary, it's, it's everything really. Um, but one thing that rings true throughout the graduation series is your guys' support. Like, you guys have helped me. Uh, I mean, I'm laughing because I feel a bit awkward saying it really, but uh, you guys have helped me no end. I mean, your positivity, your encouragement, your motivation, your daily, daily, genuinely daily support. Every single video you guys are in there and you know who you are. If you're, if you're watching this right now and thinking, oh, is he talking about me? Yes, I'm talking about you. Thank you for your, thank you, thank you. So with this being about 15 episodes in, that's a good six or seven weeks worth of videos. Um, and I just wanted to kind of update you guys on my, well, feelings really, because I don't know, people kind of, I haven't really mentioned it for a few videos and I don't want you guys to think that I'd forgotten about it or the meaning of the graduation series. Um, know that it goes through my head all day, every day. Um, my experiences, my thoughts, my videos, I never stop thinking about YouTube, <laughs> to be honest with you. I never stop thinking about creating something, one way or another. Um, and I never stop thinking about that graduation video. It just makes me cry, man. It does. It does. But, um... Right, I'm gonna round this video off here. Um... And think I might go and watch it again. I've not watched it for a few days. I, I'm feeling nostalgic now. I'm feeling good. Right. Okay, I, I might seem sad, but I'm not. I'm kind of like happy, sad... You know, you know when... I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm all over the shot. Right. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop the video a massive like if you have enjoyed it. Comment your thoughts down below and subscribe if you are new. It will be much appreciated. Together, we will grow. And I'll see you guys in the next video.